6.08 a.m. as you guys can see and it's actually like an hour later than when I wanted to wake up I definitely slept in a lot but I think we're just gonna get ready but I'm just gonna shower right now because I feel really gross like I just woke up and my hair's like all knotted from like being in that bun so So this is not my official outfit. This is just like my Uniqlo heat tech that I like to wear underneath my sweaters Like this is the sweater. I'm actually going to wear I'm just not gonna put it on until after I'm done getting ready because then I'll actually be sweating so much if I have like both thermal layers on But anyways, we're going to make some breakfast. I just finished getting ready like I said, it is almost noon, which I'm kind of upset about. So maybe this vlog is going to turn into how to save like a half-wasted day in a sense because I did plan to wake up at like 9 or 10. 10 at the latest. But I actually woke up at 11 and it's just going to be a day in the life today. But today's actually a Thursday where I don't have classes. But funny enough, I do have to go to this school because of some like career major thing that they're doing. I also have a lot of Depop packages to ship out and the post office is right next to my school. So we're just going to drop those off while I'm there. Also, you guys. Guys, I am so so upset about my door. Can you see that? It's literally off the hinges now. It's so disappointing because in my last video I literally was talking about how I cleaned my whole entire room to make sure that those doors were closed. It's like broken now. For the past week it's just been falling off its hinges like all by itself. Like I'll just be sitting in my room and then my door just falls off the closet. It's so scary. Last night I was trying to fix it and I just could not. I think one of the screws is bent so I have to like get tools to like fix it and so I just propped it up against my wall. Please just ignore the fact that my door is going to be open in this whole entire video. At least one of them because this one's going to stay closed. Just have to like kind of crop it out a little bit. Make sure you guys don't see it a little bit. Let's get to the kitchen because I'm starving. I think you guys are already gonna know what I'm gonna make. You guys have seen this plenty of times in my vlogs, but I make kind of the same thing. And so far I haven't gotten sick of it. I think I might at some point, but as of right now, I'm not. So we're gonna make a bagel with egg and cheese. Ever since I moved to New York, I've been eating an unhealthy amount of bagels and croissants. For some reason, that's like all what I get and eat here, like at home, but also like at cafes and stuff. Maybe not an unhealthy amount. It's just that like, I would never really eat those things back at home. And now living here, it's like all what I kind of eat for breakfast. Like I have a croissant like multiple times a week. Like if you told myself that like when I was living back at home, like I wouldn't believe you. I don't know why. I feel like it's really popular here, especially with like the coffee and cafe kind of culture that New York has. I love finding myself like a little cafe and doing some work. sit right there but anyways i just finished making my coffee which tastes really really good and then i made my signature sandwich you guys have seen this probably like a million times in my videos i'm not even going to talk about it but i'm starving so let's eat this i'm so curious on when i'm actually going to get sick of this breakfast like i think there's a time frame of when your body gets sick of something but like i've been eating this for so long and i haven't gotten sick of it like ever since i moved here pretty much so like seven months almost eight months now I basically just had a super slow morning routine. I just finished also packing a bunch of Depop packages. I have to ship these out today. But like I said, we're gonna go to the post office. I'm gonna put them all in this tote bag. There's honestly kind of a lot. Also, I ended up taking way too long to get ready, so we're not going to my school. Also, part of it is that like I wanted to go with my friend originally. It's like a major mixer thing. It's not even like a really formal like career fair. And she also couldn't end up going in time as well, just like me. Like I could have honestly went, but I would have really been pushing the time and probably would have been there for like 10 minutes max. And I don't want to commute all the way to school just to be there for like 10 minutes. I feel like if I lived in the dorms or something and I was nearby, like it would make a little bit more sense. But I didn't want to like pressure myself to get out the door at a certain time. And also like the main thing, like she wasn't going 
flying, so I didn't really want to go all by myself. Anyways, as a little bit of a rundown of today's schedule. <laughs> I would love to do a chit chat kind of get ready in this video but like i said i'm going to film the youtube short i guess i'll just get back to you guys once i'm done filming this and have my makeup on and everything okay you guys i just finished the makeup video also i have my alex earl light plugged in right now <laughs> that's what i like to call it the tiktok light and i honestly need to start using this more often because oh my gosh it makes such a difference but anyways oh my gosh that took so much longer than expected i don't know why i just feel like Whenever I'm filming sponsored things, I need to repeat myself like a million different times and kind of just like make sure I get it right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I forgot this was plugged in because it was dying on me while I was filming the video and I had to plug it into my laptop. Um, if you guys want this light though, I'll link it down below. It honestly works so, so well. Anyways, we really need to get this day started. It's almost three o'clock. We're just gonna do a little solo date in the city. I've been meaning to film one of these videos for a really, really long time as well. I don't know if this is gonna be the ultimate one that I've been wanting to film and envisioning for you guys, but like we're pretty much getting there because I wanna go to a cafe or something, maybe get food, kind of just enjoy being alone in the city. I feel like that's one really, really good thing about New York. It's a really good city for people that like to be alone. Let's put it that way. And I've talked a little bit about that in my like college Q&A video about how like it kind of gets lonely sometimes. But honestly, after being here for a little bit, I've really appreciated the beauty of it because there's no other city like it. Like I love how everyone kind of minds their own business um, and no one judges you. I'm like in a funny little mood right now just because like I finally finished that video. You know when you get like an assignment or a homework thing done and like you just get an adrenaline like rush? That's exactly how I feel right now. I feel on top of my stuff right now because I just got that done so early. I have to really lock in and do a lot of work tonight. So I think before we do that, I kind of want to just get out right now. Like we should leave my apartment at least once today. It's actually not raining for once. I'm gonna just change back into what I was wearing before. Okay, you guys, here is today's outfit of the day. I'll tell you guys where everything's from really quickly. So I always get questions on this sweater. It's from Princess Polly. And then like I said, I'm wearing my heat tech underneath. And then I'm wearing this like thin jacket that's really oversized. And I got this from Depop actually for like really cheap highly recommend and then my jeans are from Urban Outfitters I also got them on sale, which was kind of nice And then I'm just wearing my Doc Martens and then I think I'm gonna take this bag that I always bring from Brandy I kind of want to bring a bigger one because I kind of want to bring my camera But at the same time, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet <laughs> I love how it's just talking about like oh my gosh No one judges you here in New York and then here I am like too scared to bring my camera But I think it's just because I'm alone But I've been wanting to try this tripod set up outside of my apartment and I haven't yet I will do it today's just not the day I think it's just because I'm alone and I'm a little bit self-conscious anyways I actually really really like how this outfit turned out I'm also gonna be bringing this bag with all of the packages also I think the plan is is that I'm gonna go to Soho and I also really want to see the Jungkook billboard. If you know, you know. I almost brought my laptop, but I don't think I'm going to just because it's already kind of late in the day and I need to come back here and do stuff later anyways. I need to start doing this every Thursday when I don't have classes because usually I'm always sleeping in until like 3 p.m. and just doing homework and I don't even leave my apartment. And there's so many things to do in New York all by yourself. So honestly, like you don't ever need to wait on anyone. And yeah, let's get going. I feel like I've been talking way too much in this video, but it's a chill vlog. Also, I feel like I cut out myself talking in a lot of my videos So let me know if you like these chattier kind of vlogs I try not to cut myself out talking too much in this video And if you guys are like she talks too much Well, then let me know and I'll just continue to cut everything out and keep it a little bit more short I don't know. I feel like these talking chatty videos are kind of fun, too I've had an hyphen and La Seraphim on repeat for like two weeks now I don't know why their music is always stuck in my head. So if you see my earbuds in that's what I'm listening to. Okay, that was so confusing. I had someone help me and then apparently the thing was full so I couldn't even put packages in there, but we got them shipped. We're now heading downtown. could not return my item, but now we're gonna go walk around a little bit more. I see the Jungkook billboard. Okay, I just got the last bit of my friend 
friend's birthday gift and it's starting to rain a little bit. So I think we're gonna try to find a cafe or something. Okay, I've been walking for a little bit and it's actually starting to rain a lot now. So I think I'm gonna go back to where my apartment is and find a cafe in that area. Cause there's a lot of cute places around there too that I've been meaning to try. It's also partly because I'm already close to the subway that I need to take to go home. And I don't really wanna go find a cafe and then have to walk all the way back here anyways. So like, we'll head uptown a little bit. I went to Soho and it was kind of a fail, but like not at the same exact time. I ended up getting my friend a card and finished her birthday gift stuff. And then also I couldn't return the pants, which was kind of the fail. I went into H&M and I was like two days overdue from like their return thing. And they don't even do store credit. So like I was just forced to keep the pants. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or put them on Depop or whatever. I don't know yet, but also isn't it kind of cool that it's almost 5.30 and it's not dark outside yet? I am just getting like so excited for the summer. Also, it would be even brighter if it wasn't raining outside because that was a whole other thing It started raining and so like I just decided to go home That's where I kind of wish I brought my laptop because then it would have been nice to actually go to a cafe and like sit inside and Do my work because I'm about to do that right now So I just stopped by Gongcha, which is like a boba place near the subway on my way back to my apartment It's pretty much done now But but this place is not as good as like my favorite place and I almost got off the subway Like on the way home to like stop by it But it's like in the East Village area and if you're ever in New York I highly recommend this place. I don't know how to say it. It's really, really good, and I highly recommend it. It was honestly life-changing, in my opinion. And if you have any other recommendations, leave them down below. I'm always looking for like cute cafes, boba places, food places, restaurants, anything. I want to do a cafe hopping video very, very soon, and then also maybe I should do like some type of challenge, or maybe like trying different restaurants around New York as well. Maybe trying different types of food, since there is so many different types of food here. I feel like that video could honestly be really, really fun because I'm not a picky eater and I'll literally eat anything. I love getting recommendations, so leave your comments down below. Let's go into the kitchen, actually. I personally don't want to do a lot of cooking tonight, so I think I'm just gonna reheat some stuff, which should be fine, honestly. It'll be good, regardless. But I just made like this pasta stuff. Let me show you guys. I hope you guys like these types of videos. Am I boring? I hope I'm giving you guys like FaceTime vibes. Maybe I'll title this vlog that. Or maybe I'll film a different video that's kind of similar to this if you like this video so much. I don't know, Leave, please leave me feedback. I love hearing you guys' thoughts with stuff. Anyways, I think I'm gonna make this for dinner though. I made this last night. I think I made this two nights ago now. Chicken Alfredo. I've been doing this thing with the chicken where I like put flour and season it with stuff. Not much though, cause I don't really have that much seasoning in my apartment. And then when you put them on the frying pan, it makes them like crispy chicken nuggets almost. Kind of sounds gross, honestly, putting it with pasta now, thinking about it. But like, it just looks like this. It's not very cute, but we're just gonna reheat this and I'm gonna eat this for dinner. I think I'm also gonna make some tea as well, just because I like having tea with my dinner. That's like one thing I've been starting to do since living alone. dinner. I have my tea. It's peppermint and it's herbal so there's no caffeine but I feel like there's no point in me saying that because I just had milk tea which has caffeine in it. And then I also have my pasta chicken dish thing. As much as I should probably start my homework and do other important things first, I still need to do packing. I think I said this earlier but I'm going back home so I'm going to Washington DC. My train departs at like 4 45 tomorrow p.m. I have class until 3 45 and I have three classes actually too. I leave in the morning and I don't come back until 3 45. That's already kind of 
kind of stressful of its own, but then also to be taking the train down, getting there at like 8 p.m. and then her birthday dinner and like celebration thing is happening at like 8.30 p.m. I think I'm either gonna Uber to the hotel or restaurant, I don't know yet. Okay, my camera died. Anyways, I'm just praying that like my train doesn't get delayed because normally that happens with the Amtrak. It cannot happen tomorrow. I'm literally gonna run home from class tomorrow, grab my backpack and then run straight to Penn Station. And I'm not gonna have time to pack in the morning or in between my classes just because like there's not enough of a break for me to do that. Also, I think it would be nice to have a little trip right now because we're going into midterms as soon as I get back. But let me know if you guys wanna see like a midterms vlog. I feel like it'd be fun to vlog another college week in my life. You guys really, really, really liked my last one. I got like over 100K views, which I'm so happy about because I remember editing that video and like, I really, really liked it. I'm like, this is one of my favorite videos. Like, I hope it does well. I hope you guys like it. I'll leave the link down below if you haven't seen it yet. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to you guys once I'm done eating this and then also when I start packing. liking because it is a school night and I do have class tomorrow but I think I'm pretty much packed I'm just trying to fit everything in my bag I'm obviously gonna wear like all my heavy stuff on the train and then I'm also just trying to figure out how to like pack all my other jackets like do I just wear three jackets at once so I'm actually trying to pack everything in this one backpack like I don't want to pack a suitcase there's no way I'm carrying that by myself I could I just don't want to we have this one backpack that's like stuffed already to the brim I still need to like put my laptop and everything in here and I also want to bring my journal so I can like journal on the train and then I still have to like put all my like skincare and makeup in here somehow I don't know how I'm going to do them I think I'm definitely going to downsize my makeup into like this small little bag here and just pack what I need but this is the jacket I was talking about like I think I have to wear this on this Amtrak you guys I'm also just trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow that I'm gonna wear to class And then also I found out that I'm gonna have like 40-ish minutes when I get to DC So I don't have to change into my dress and wear that on the Amtrak thankfully Honestly, I'm like kind of stressed out and I hate how it's already 10 30 because I still have to shower and then like shave my legs and everything because I'm gonna be wearing a dress I hope I don't go to bed at like 2 o'clock in the morning because I have such a long day tomorrow But that's a little bit of an update. Here's a quick little recap of the weekend I ended up just taking my luggage to my last class that day and here's me in Penn Station. I saw the prettiest sunset on the way home on the Amtrak. Here's all of us, all of us girls. We had this really really nice Italian pasta dinner and here's Hananya, the birthday girl. She looks so pretty and then we all ended up going to this really fun club in DC and it was such a fun girls weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss any updates and then also subscribe to my channel if you want to. I would really really appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!